The DFE100 is used to repair fiber optic drop cables that have been cut. Two DFE100 units are required to compensate for the lack of slack in the cable. The DFE100 can also be used as a demarcation point and as a splice point within a fiber network. The DFE101, a two-port stub, and DFE104, a four-port, are also available. Rectangular drop fibers of 8.1 mm, 5.4 mm, 5.1 mm, and round 5.1 mm and 3 mm cables can be repaired using the DFE100. The DFE100 is rated IP68 and can be directly buried or mounted on the side of a building. The DFE100 accommodates up to 12 fusion splices and 2 mechanical splices. The DFE100 is supplied standard with all cable gaskets for compatible cables and two mechanical splices. We will now show the procedure for making a fusion splice in the DFE100. Step 1. Strip the drop cable. Remove the strength members and Kevlar yarn. Peel the toner wire back as applicable. Step 2. Place nut onto cable. Step 3. Insert the drop fiber into the corresponding gasket so that the narrow end of the gasket will go into the port first. Make sure that the toner wire does not go through the gasket. Make sure to never tighten the nut without a gasket inserted in the port. Step 4. Insert the drop cable and gasket into the DFE100. Finger tighten the nut. Step 5. Clamp the cable into the base of the DFE100. Step 6. Repeat these steps to prepare the other drop fiber. Step 7. Prepare the length of the fiber needed to splice the fiber so that the splice protector will locate conveniently in a splice holder. It is recommended to wrap each fiber around the routing channel two times. Step 8. Cleave the two fibers and splice. Step 9. Wind the fiber into the DFE100. Step 10. Mount the splice protector. Step 11. Mount the lid and screw the eight screws in the pattern described in the instruction sheet. Step 12. Tie the two toner wires together if desired. For all service and technical support, visit our website at www.tempocom.com.